and a good Wednesday early afternoon to you. This weather video is driven by 802cars.com, representing 802 Toyota, Twin City Subaru, and 802 Honda, all located off of Exit 7 on Interstate 89. Looking at a wide, broad picture here of the uh, United States. And I do have the lightning overlay as well, showing some thunderstorm. This is a very significant weather system producing very heavy rains. Also up here in the northern plains, the secondary system here. And uh, most of this is being shunted kind of a storm track that's really going to be taking it through the middle Atlantic again and uh, limiting the amount of precipitation we're going to see and we have uh, several days of dry weather. For utility impacts, uh, limited to none through about Monday and uh, concerns will be for some lightning and generally benign thunderstorm activity. This looks to develop later in the day on Sunday and last into the overnight period into early Monday morning. Heat uh, indices uh, fairly marginal and mainly toward Brattleboro up to about Putney or so in the parts of Wyndham County, southeastern Vermont. This will take place on Sunday afternoon. Otherwise, uh, decent project weather uh, just about each day. The caveat is for some sprinkles across the northern tier region overnight. Tonight, Wednesday night, the tropics remain quiet, all good on the home front. What you're looking at here is uh, capes, convective available potential energy. This is where the high dew point temperatures are. And you can see also heat indices here, real scorchers down in the southeast United States. This is taking place uh, even this morning. So currently we're kind of shooting the gap here, and this is valid uh, at uh, 2 o'clock this afternoon. Vermont, uh, you can see a kind of a cold front here, and some rather chilly temperatures uh, to the north. And this frontal system is going to push on down. It looks like it could bring us a little bit of sprinkle activity. This would be valid about 2 o'clock in the morning, so... Uh, during the overnight period there in far northern Vermont. Also watching kind of just one week disturbance, just enough to power up some shower and thunderstorm activity across uh, Long Island, parts of southern New England. That is not going to affect us. We kind of shoot the uh, the gap in between here. A little bit of shower activity in the uh, period there, mostly in the morning hours in far southern Vermont, but really the caveat is it's really not going to be a problem for us. It looks like relatively dry weather and high pressure takes over with dry conditions. You can see this is going into 72, 84 hours. This is uh, valid about uh, 8 o'clock in the morning on Saturday. We start to see the next precipitation check. A uh, bit of business coming, coming in uh, from the southwest. And it looks like it's not really that convective uh, during the day on Saturday and really into uh, Saturday night and the morning hours on Sunday. We start to see a little bit more convection here and these could be some benign thunderstorms. So this kind of lasts into Sunday night. It gets mostly pushed off to the south. You see a secondary cold front here that's going to be shooting on through. That's going to be Sunday uh, overnight and into Monday morning. This is valid through about 8 o'clock on Monday morning and then beyond that things begin to push off to the south. We start to clear on out. We have better conditions and transition into another area of higher pressure. Looking beyond six days, five days out uh, you're looking at another area of higher pressure basically uh, Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. Looking pretty good. Let's take a look at P-Watts. That really explains a lot. So we're just going to kind of run these through real quick. Now this is uh, drier than normal weather. This is uh, standard deviations and you can see zero being white. Below normal, in other words, drier than normal conditions, standard deviations. Uh, and then red, the opposite. That's where the moisture is. So you can see that some moisture begins to work in. It's about a standard deviation, maybe a and a half. Nothing too, too serious. Nothing like what we saw earlier this week. And then uh, that bit of business with the secondary cold front that kind of pulls out ahead of it, a cold front. And then we have much drier air that begins to get forced into the region for the uh, really early to mid part of next week. And you can see the, uh, the way things set up here. Our next big weather to watch is probably not going to be during this period, but this would be the, the puppy right here. This is valid somewhere along about Thursday of next week. Looking at the uh, Burlington plot for the uh, GFS ensemble, you can see just a trace of rain, and that's those northern Vermont sprinkles I was talking about. These are uh, not going to affect a whole lot of people, mainly uh, staying in the northern tier regions. And then we get into a little bit more of a, some showers, but you note that uh, this is generally not very much uh, under uh, six tenths in general. This is the seven day total precipitation amounts, and uh, there's the inch line. This is the half inch line, so 
and it basically looks like somewhere between six tenths and about an inch of rainfall, maybe up to 1.1 inches in some southern areas per the latest European model. Further north you go, the drier it gets. Further south, this is going to be the main storm track here. And switching to temperatures, again centered on Burlington, you can see some cooler nights around 40, uh, not tonight, but uh, tomorrow night. And temperatures uh, get knocked down just a little bit with a cool front that'll take place with those sprinkles in the northern tier. Then we make a little bit of a step ladder back up. This is our weekend temperatures, a little bit more uncertain here. You can see some of the plume lines uh, uh, coming apart just a bit, but they kind of get back on track and uh, not a whole lot of extremes to worry about here. Weighted temperatures for the next five days. These are the high temperatures running about six degrees below normal, but we're up to three degrees above normal as we move about three days later. So uh, not looking too bad. It's a pretty good forecast overall. This uh, baseline looking at the world right now, 79 through 2000 baseline. So our warmer than normal anomalies are up in the northern parts, western Canada, and you can see also up in the areas around Siberia. For the world, running about uh, a half a degree Celsius, almost a half a degree. Northern Hemisphere the same. Southern Hemisphere is equal. That is unusual. I haven't seen that very often. The Arctic typically is always well above normal. Uh, they're about 1.2 degrees Celsius. The Antarctic is 1 degree above Celsius. And the tropics are the cool spots, interestingly to note. And you can kind of see some of that right across the equator here. That's it from here, Roger Hill, Weathering Heights. Thanks for watching.